Welcome to the Numerology and Astrology for February 5th, 2022. Thank you for joining me. My name is Suzanne Wagner. You can uh, also go on my website, which is SuzanneWagner.com, and there's lots of more information there should you need it. If you add all those numbers together, you get the number 13, and if you add the 1 and the 3 together, you get the neutral mind number 4. The number four is a number of communication and harmony and balance, win-win and cooperation. And this number asks us to look at life in a calmer and more accepting way. Good luck with that. Um, I find that oftentimes when these numbers show up, it's actually the challenge for that day. So you might want to brace for a little bit of a wild and woolly day and know that this is going to be your moment to practice neutral mind. There can be many very challenging things that seem to be constantly happening on this day. And while that is something that none of us have control over, what we can control is our attitude and how it impacts us. In this time of COVID and the complications that are arising on a multitude of levels regarding aloneness, long-term health problems, those that cannot get the necessary surgeries because of hospitals and doctors being flooded and unable to make anything other than emergencies happen, we must learn that there are certain things that we just have to let go. We cannot allow others, situations and circumstances to degrade our health and personal well-being. It's not worth it, everyone. I have a motto. Anything that is upsetting to me that is directly negatively impacting my health, I just let it go, walk away from it, or I just set it aside. I see so many dying from sheer stress and overwhelm in these times. Many see life as not worthy of living, and so many things have gotten so hard, complicated, and difficult very quickly. There are enough problems without creating more of them from our own upsets. While that's easy to say, it's very hard to do. We all are in this together. Everyone feels it. Be the person who causes others to relax and feel safe. Know that we cannot fix the karmic challenges of others, but we can be as kind as possible. If one cannot find something supportive to say, then it is best to say nothing at all. We cannot fix the problems currently unfolding in this world alone. We are all going to need to come together in a cooperative environment where we agree that the individual's demands are much less important than those things that are destroying our world. Until the selfishness of humanity is put aside, we will continue to be in this place of limbo. And that is why we need to stay as neutral as possible. The astrology today. The moon is in Aries, and I expect, under this astrology, for some to get hot under the collar. Sometimes it is the small things that make us feel as if that one thing was the last straw. Many may feel as if they are in that place today. There is a strong disinterest in the past and a huge desire to move forward. The stuckness is wearing on everyone. Today, there is a huge impatience mixed with hastiness and volatility. That is not a good combination. We get to blame Mars and how it is interacting with the moon and later on in the day, how it will interact with Venus for all of those overwhelming feelings. Because the moon is at least getting along with Saturn and the sun, do what you can to take one thing at a time. Find something to get excited about. Find something that will allow us to feel as if we are heading in the right direction. Clarity comes as we move forward. Choices arise as we come to the next place that requires us to act. Waiting for perfect clarity will make us wait a very long time. We have to figure out how to live while these global events keep happening. What we want and need is less important than getting something going and having a goal to focus upon. It is clear that we are going to have to work our way into another reality and it will take all our hard work and effort to get there. My quote for, t for today. The wealthy will try to tell us everything is okay. When those working and toiling every day are struggling just to keep going and make ends meet. Those with power could care less if we feel defeat. Never believe what those in power want you to know. They will not give you the truth or the blow by blow. They want to appease your mind and have you not get upset. That leads to explanations that, you want, that they want you to forget. 
That is why you learn to look between the lines and to pay attention to those hidden signs, you know, the ones that seem to not make sense. You may notice them if you do not believe the pretense, but too many think and forget to really feel. Your gut knows when something is not the real deal. And my blog for today. <laughs> Some days, things seem like a lot of work. It is difficult for so many currently. I marvel at those who are, that are still willing and feeling resilient and determined. I try to count myself in that group. I use all my meditation skills and tools to stay centered in this global storm. And some days I falter as my boat fills with water from another huge wave. We cannot give up. We each have to learn that what we can do and what we can't do. The only logical choice is to take things one at a time. When each day is a struggle to get up and find a path through the chaos, upset, and those on a war path, it's simple things that will keep dismay at bay. It is those small kindnesses that give other, that another gives away that bring a spark of hope back into this life and keep the wolves outside the doors of strife. What, can, what we can do is learn to step away from all the drama that will lead us astray. I cannot be bought with feigned words of denial. I cannot be swayed by opinions that think they are a fair trial. I see things clearly for what they are. All people are biased and can become quite bizarre. While most have a good heart and mean to do well, they cannot see where their fears have put them in a hell. And that suffering that they store deep inside is not anything that nice words or self-deception can hide. Thanks, everyone. <laughs>